Young children are naturally curious about math. Instilling a love for math while they are young is important for establishing a foundation for the rest of their school life. This video explores two evidence-based strategies for helping your kids learn to love math. Our own feelings and attitudes about math shape how our children feel about math. So most importantly, if you disliked or struggled with math as a child, don't share your negative feelings about math with your children. Math is important, and just like reading, math is key to school and life success. Flexing your children's math muscles can be a great bonding experience. Every outing or interaction with your children is an opportunity for math learning. This video will describe ideas to 1. Teach children to view and describe their world mathematically. 2. Teach early geometry, patterns, and measurement. Teach children different ways math is visible in the world. Galileo said that mathematics is the language of the universe. While it takes years of study and hard work to master that language, even very young children can learn math fundamentals. Find opportunities to talk with your child about the world around you in terms of numbers and math. You can do this in just about any situation, from reading a book together, to shopping for groceries, to waiting at a red light in the car. For example, during a walk around the neighborhood, encourage your child to count how many dogs they see. For younger children, you can encourage them to keep a tally by counting with their fingers. Be sure to encourage your child to maintain one-to-one -one correspondence. Each dog only counts once, even if it's a really big dog. Ask questions like, how many dogs have we counted so far? And, now how many dogs have we counted so far? These types of questions teach cardinality, the idea that numbers represent how many there is of something. For older children, you can ask them to count and categorize the dogs in different ways different colors, long hair or short hair. Older children can also keep track of dogs that have and haven't yet been counted. As they grow, you can involve them in more complicated math talk. For example, you and your child see three birds eating worms in the grass, when suddenly, Ruff comes running to play with them. Ask your child to count how many birds they saw, and then ask them to count how many dogs they saw. Then, ask them to add how many animals they saw in total. Encourage them to count with their fingers or draw them. If they know how to write, they should also be able to give you an equation. 3 plus 1 equals 4. Asking open-ended questions and including math in the conversation will encourage children to apply their math knowledge every day. Teach early geometry and patterns. Although numbers may be the first things that come to mind when you think about math, shapes and patterns are also a part of geometry. Teach your child the names of different shapes, circles, triangles, squares, rectangles, and then see how many of them you can find in books and out in the world. A really powerful idea is that shapes have the same name even when they're upside down, lying on their sides, big or small. Triangles always have three corners, even if they're long and skinny or short and wide. You can teach older children vocabulary, such as sides and angles, as they learn more complex shapes like octagons, which have eight sides. Another powerful idea is to make different patterns with shape blocks. Have fun creating patterns with your child, seeing how far you can extend it before you run out of blocks. These are only two ideas to help you instill a lifelong love for mathematics. Remember, math is necessary and is the language of the world. Math is not harder than learning to read or learning how to play an instrument or sport. And take this opportunity to bond with your child and play a little math.